Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys I'm going to be showing you four different things that you probably don't know about in Roblox Studio and a lot of people don't really know about so let's uh, get into it. The first thing it may be uh, useful to some people but if you have a part and you're using the move scale or rotate tool what you can do is let's say I'm moving it and I want to get a really precise movement what I can do is um, when I have the tool selected, hold down tab and um, select somewhere on your part. And your selection will go to that certain point. Like see, if I wanted to get this part as close as I can to this part, but it's kind of hard to tell, you can tab down here, hold down tab at this point and you know, it may, it may be helpful. Uh, same thing goes for the scale and rotate tool. So scale, you can go anywhere while holding down tab. And you can get that, uh, it moves the tool. Same thing with rotate. Uh, so it can be helpful, it depends on uh, how you use it. But yeah, not very many people I don't think really know about that. Now this happens in every game, guys, this next tip. So... You have a text label, right? Um, let me insert a text label. And let me make it like cartoony or whatnot. Like make it look good. So anchor point doesn't matter. Uh, let me change it. So scaled white. And then. Alright, so when you have a text label. And you have a UI stroke in it. Which gives it the outline. So there you go. And when the stroke is big enough it overlaps so if you so i have the ui stroke thickness set to eight and as it shrinks you can see look um in the middle of the a and b it's like overlapping and it's like clipping and it doesn't look good if you guys can see that so let me see all right there we go and if i make it like really big it overlaps there you go you can really see it there how you can fix this is really simple. In the UI stroke, the line join mode, set that to either bevel or miter. If you set it to one of these, it fixes it and it makes your uh, text labels look really good again because it's not overlapping. Um, so again, that's useful if um, your text is really small and it just... Uh, you know overlaps and you can it doesn't look good set it uh, line join mode to bevel or to miter it does the same exact thing now the next thing guys if you want a premium premium icon the roblox premium icon or the robux icon you can do that using these emojis like you don't have to get pictures for them um i will have these in the first thing in the description they are invisible, you can't see them, but when you put them in Roblox, it actually shows something. Okay, so I'm going to put in this emoji, right? It's invisible, but when I press enter, it is the Robux sign, and you don't need an image for it. So you can have the price just using one text label and not having to use an image to display it. So you can say, I don't know... Uh, Maybe just 600, 500 Robux. And yeah. Now, same thing goes for the premium icon. If I get the premium icon, it's invisible, by the way. You can do that too. There's the premium icon. And, you know, everything, the uh, stroke adjusts to it too. So don't worry about that. But yeah, you don't need images. For these, you can just have the text, and these are invisible emojis. So, if you guys want these, then it'll be the first thing in the description, and I will have it labeled, even though it is invisible. It's so like, it'll say, Robux icon, and then it'll say, Premium icon, and there you guys go. You can have that in your games. Alright guys, so the last tip is the uh, better way of getting the front face of a part. Because that's really useful if you're making pets, or you just want to know the front face of a part when you're programming. Originally, like back four, maybe 40 years ago, there was a thing in a, a parts properties where it would tell you the front face 
of the part, but now we don't have that. So what people would go to to get the front face is insert a decal. And when you insert a decal into your part, it highlights the face that is the front. So I would know that this is the front face. You don't have to do that anymore because what you what you can do is select your part, right click, and right here it says show orientation indicator. I was so happy when I found this out. So show orientation indicator and it shows the front face right there. And it's really cool. And uh, you just do that for any part that you want. If you want to get rid of it, just right click, hide orientation indicator. And that is so useful. All right, guys. So if you wanted to look back at the tips, here's the overview again. Uh, there are the, the four tips. And if you wanted to go back, then, uh, or you just wanted to look at all of them again, then there's the four. But if this video did help you guys, then please hit the like button and the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.